If you saw our last video, you'll know we are meandering through Singapore and enjoying every minute of it. We're Cindy and Eddie, and this is Squeeze the Day. In this video, we are continuing our exploration of Clark K, and we're gonna take you around to the western side of the Singapore River. So let's go check that out. The location we're starting at is right here in this park, Esplande. Esplande, Esplanade, I don't know how to pronounce that. Listen, we were just over there. There's a beautiful view of the city. We are enjoying it. There's a lot going on. Take a look at that video. We're gonna continue up the river. But first, we gotta stop by this map. We are going to go and check out Fort Canning Park real quick and then come across and come along this side of the river walk and take you down into this area of Raffles. This is a much better view of the map because it is a brighter, less sunburnt map. If you follow any of these signs, they'll tell you, for example, 9G will tell you High Street Center. Anyway, that's how you read a map. Our walk will take us past the Parliament House. So we're gonna turn left here at this street to take us to the fort. Fort Canning is right down there. As we're walking up to where one of the entrances to the fort is, we wanted to pause for just a second to show you this very colorful building that's right next to it. We're not sure what the building is for or why it's decorated like that. If anybody knows, please leave a comment. We're going to cross the street here and cross one of these to get over there. So there's actually a really nice sign right there that says Fort Canning Park. There's also a sign right here that says Fort Canning Park, and there's a little bit of information about it. Now let's go inside. We also have an Instagram account, which Cindy is taking a picture for right now. We try to post pictures along our travels. Feel free to check out those at any time. Here's a little history. Feel free to pause and check those out at your leisure as well. We are here right now, and there's a lot to see. We're not gonna see it all, just because this isn't a Fort Canning Park video, this is a Singapore video, but we're gonna see some of it, give you a quick glimpse of what it is. First, we have to tackle these stairs. Let's go. Yeah, let's count them. We got to 48 and had to stop and take a break. Not because we were tired, but because you're looking at a pretty decent view, but let's keep going. Also have seats. You can just sit and enjoy the view or rest if you're tired. Cindy thinks this is the best view. <laughs> I think it is. Yeah, from that seat, you got a pretty decent view right there. Keep going. Raffles Garden portion so far, these steps leading up to the different levels is considered the garden and it's coming up to the Raffles house, which is where Sir Raffle used to live. We are on step number 80, still going. Step number 96 will take you here. What we just saw, looks like there's another way down, but that's all blocked off. So that goes somewhere we can't find out right now because it's blocked off. Step number 110. I'm at 159. That's the Raffles house. We are in the Raffles garden and there's a lighthouse and a really beautiful garden. Really beautiful garden in my opinion. We're here right now. We just walked from there. We can go and do all this, but I don't think there's an actual entrance into the fort itself. So I think what we're gonna do at this point is we're just gonna come down here or actually come down this area and go check out Jubilee Park. And if you want to know a little bit more about the park at a glance, pause here, read at your leisure. Oh, look at that, Lover Swings. And this is the lighthouse. We have a flag staff, there's a little bit of information about it. Each one of those flags is a letter, so that says something. I don't know what though. I'll show you this real quick because this is an actual tree that they have over here. This is a flame of the forest. And it looks like this is it too. But that's what the flowers look like. Or the leaves, I guess they're red leaves at the tips. Pretty amazing. 
So this is full of fresh leaves. Beautiful tree. Way off in the distance, you can see that says Riverside Point, but great shot of the city. We're gonna take the easy walk down. We actually came down this way and came down here. So we're here now. Now we're trying to figure out, do we actually wanna see Jubilee Park, which we kinda of do, but we kinda of don't. Or do we want to just head over to the river? So we decided we're going to continue down towards the river and continue exploring Clark K. We are headed back to the river now. Back at the river. And look what we found. It's like a little play area. A couple of minutes ago, we were up there on that hill. We walked across that bridge, we came down to here. We honestly have no idea where we're walking to. We're just walking around and exploring. And once in a while, we'll see a map and check out our current location and show you. But for the most part, flying by the seat of our pants. I kind of like that we're doing that. We don't usually do it. We usually try and plan it out. But then when we find places like this, like by accident, we're really impressed by them. Looks like all this opens up at six. There's another office for the Riverboat Cruises right here. This is really great that it's shaded. And there's a lot going on here. I don't know what's down here. It just continues. This Clark K area is just like massive. And there's that, beautiful. Through the forest that is this restaurant front, you can see the river over there. And this entire area has a whole lot of different types of restaurants. So I think we're gonna cross the river over here, just past the House of Seafood. Let's take a quick look while we're here. This is where those boats sit and rest. Water and dining cruises are available. So you can just take a boat taxi or you can sit and get some food. Let's see if we can find out how much it costs. They have the ticket prices listed on the cashier's windows. Let us know if you think that view would be worth the price. This is the Ord Bridge. So we're going to walk across that. I don't know if this used to be a vehicle bridge. It looks like it's strong enough to hold a car, but it has steps going up to it. And has a walkway on the side, which really makes me think this used to be a vehicle bridge at one point. But it's pedestrian only now. We are really happy we found this area. Not only is there a beautiful park that would be fun to sit and relax in, but this entire area is full of beautiful and authentic buildings. We're just loving the way they look. Yeah, those are elevators in the background, so you know it's modernized, but it's a beautiful building. This is the Jumbo Seafood at Riverside. Looks like they're already getting busy. They are well known for their signature dish, which is the award-winning chili crab. I've not had that yet, but it looks amazing, and one day we'll come back here and do that. But we're a bunch of travelers, so we've got another place in mind to eat at today. We just discovered that Jumbo Seafood actually has some private dining rooms. Let's take a look at them. Upstairs, they have private dining areas. Look at that. Oh, wow. How would you like to dine here? Right over top of the river. Oh man. We're back on the promenade by the river, checking it out. Let's see what more we can find. This is such a nice walk. Minus the guy doing the work on the shrubbery over there, but otherwise, <laughs> it's so beautiful to walk along here. And that's where we were just a couple minutes ago. As soon as we came down off of the fort right there, we came to walk through this Clark K 
Okay area and had a great time. Right across the way, they have this central mall. We're gonna go take a real quick look inside there just for our own pleasure. Cause you know, we like looking at malls. Plus we're gonna enjoy some of the air conditioning. So we're gonna go get some air conditioning, cool off. And this is a good way to beat the heat. Not only is the air conditioning really good, the mall is pretty nice too. They do have a basement level. And it looks like there's food down there. We came for the view and the air conditioning. And this is about what the inside of the mall looks like. We're gonna leave it here so we can continue to explore the rest of the city. We'll see you outside. We do have something pretty interesting right next to the mall. Put your love locks on there. Some people put it on the surrounding gate, but we're gonna continue to explore the city. I have a question for all of our longtime fans. How many places have we been to that we've been able to put locks, love locks, onto, for example, the love lock location we just passed? There have been a few, more than three, I would say. Let us and know. And do you remember any of them, possibly? And do you have any love locks of your own place somewhere in the world? Leave comments below. We wanted to go up, but there's traffic and we don't want to wait for traffic. So we're going to go down here. There's also more art on the walls down here. So let's show you that. Skinny's Lounge. This is a section we showed you from the other side of the river where they have all of these restaurants. You've got the places to sit and eat, the walkway and then the restaurant. We wanted to pause for just a second to let you know that there are a couple of things you can see along the way. For example, behind us, the Marina Bay Sands. You get really great views of the whole city everywhere you go. That was pretty awesome. We really enjoyed walking through there. We saw a lot of different foods that we would love to try. A lot of people are here and there's a bird right there. I don't know. What does this say? That's a little bit better of a shot. We're going to walk through this area and start oh. heading south just a little bit. We're outside but air conditioning is blowing. I think what we're going to do is head directly south so we can find a great location to end the video. We're gonna take this crosswalk and head right down this road here. It looks like there's a walkway over here. We wanna go upstairs to the Market Street Hawkers Center. Oh, look at that. Yeah, this might be a good area to get some local food. And apparently there's multiple levels, so now you know what's in the area, but let's keep going. Just so you know, there's only one way out. You go up the escalator and then down the escalator. That is one of the hawker stall locations you can go to to get very inexpensive food. We walked down the street to this location. Unfortunately, there is a little bit of a line to get up to the top floor, but a very popular touristy thing to do so you can get the view from up there. Unfortunately, we're not gonna go to the rooftop this time. Next time, we'll be sure to get a rooftop view and we'll plan ahead now that we know that you need to get here early enough to beat the crowds. We have had an amazing day walking around Singapore and it was such a treat to be able to just meander without any set agenda. We have met a lot of amazing people while we're here in Singapore. This is a beautiful city with some amazing people. 
and some delicious food. So we definitely recommend this as a place to go. And if you made it this far, thank you so much for watching. We appreciate each and every one of you. And stay tuned as we continue to travel around Singapore and the rest of the world. If you like this video, make sure you hit that like button. And if you're not subscribed, hit the subscribe button and ring the bell for notifications so that you can continue to follow along with us as we continue on this adventure. And as always, squeeze the day and be well.